How's it going guys? It's Josh here. Welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be answering the question, is a triple monitor setup worth it? Because I think a lot of people, including myself a few years back, look at a triple monitor setup and think, wow, that's got to be the ultimate setup. But I'm just going to go through a few pros and cons with you guys today to help you make a better decision as to whether or not you should invest in this kind of thing. Now I've had my setup for over two years now so it's kind of gotten to the point where the novelty has worn off and I feel like I can give you an honest opinion about it. We'll start with the pros. So for a start, I mean, they do just look awesome. I mean, come on, there's no getting around it. There's just something about a triple screen setup that looks a little bit NASA mission control-esque. It's quite visually striking when you first see one, especially in person. Uh, I remember when I first did mine and I was super blown away with it. All right, next up, productivity. If I'm honest, this is probably the biggest pro about a triple screen setup. There's not only a huge amount of screen real estate, but you've also got three separate screens to snap programs into. There's no resizing or anything, you just drag something onto a screen and it's done. It's very handy for video editing or even just day-to-day -day stuff. I can have Spotify open on one screen, uh, Amazon on another, and even then you've still got one screen free. It's just really nice to have a physically separate screen for everything and it makes multitasking extremely easy. As a result, I think you definitely get more done in less time. Next up, now I think everyone associates triple monitor setups with gaming and perhaps rightly so, it can be super fun when you're playing a game in this ridiculously wide resolution. It's extremely immersive, you have lots of stuff kind of rushing past in your peripheral vision, especially in racing games. Now, I don't really play racing sims, but one of my favourite things to do is to get the racing wheel out and play a bit of Forza Horizon 4. It's kind of difficult to describe the sense of immersion you get. Uh, in cockpit view, you really feel like you're driving a car. And the same is true for space sims as well. To have such a wide set of screens really adds to that immersion. Again, Elite Dangerous is just absolutely killer on this kind of setup. Admittedly, I don't really have my screen set up specifically for this. Uh, true racing sim enthusiasts will have a much steeper angle on the monitors so that it fills more of their vision. But either way, three screens is mostly great for gaming. I'll come back to that in just a minute. So here's the cons of a triple monitor setup. The first is space. You need a lot of space. Uh, I had to move my whole setup from this alcove, in fact, to the biggest wall in my room because they just wouldn't fit. If you're wondering, my desk, the one behind me, is two and a half meters long and the monitors are 27 inches each. So, you know how I said they were good for gaming? Honestly guys, when I originally planned my setup, I thought I was going to be playing everything in triple screen surround. I mean, that's what a triple monitor setup's for, isn't it? But the reality is, I'd say about 80% of the time, I don't. Anything that's first person and competitive, it just sucks for. Uh, it doesn't help at all having a screen either side of you. You're basically stretching what a person would normally see on one monitor over three. Uh, they can move their eyes an inch to the corner of the screen and you've got to turn your whole head. You're basically at a disadvantage. Stuff like Rocket League as well, basically anything that's not a space or racing sim, it's just not very good for. And that brings me on to another disadvantage. It's a bit of a faff to set up. Every time you want to play a game in triple screen mode, you have to basically enable it from NVIDIA control panel. And it's not the easiest piece of software to deal with. Uh, there is a program I found that helps a lot with this. I made a video about it, uh, so I'll link it in the description. But in general, the thought of having to set something up every time you want to play a game can kind of discourage you from doing so altogether. And finally, I don't really count this as a disadvantage because it's kind of just the nature of it, but yes, it is pricey. If you want to play games on all three screens, you need a lot of power for a good frame rate due to having to push all those pixels, so you need a good graphics card. Obviously, the price of three screens itself can be expensive as well. So, is a triple monitor setup worth it? 100% if you're doing it for productivity, uh, in my opinion, three screens is just absolutely amazing. You can't beat it. If you're thinking about doing a triple monitor setup specifically for gaming, 
I would say it's honestly just not worth it guys. It's just not practical for most games uh, unless that is your big into your racing sims in which case you'll love it. And finally, if you're one of those people who just wants it because it looks cool, I mean, it's up to you what you spend your money on at the end of the day, and I'll be honest, yeah, that was one of the appeals for me. Uh, it really does feel like having an ultimate setup. But then again, I sometimes look at people's really nice single monitor setups with the PC at the side and everything, and they look amazing as well. So definitely don't feel like you need to have three monitors to have an impressive setup. I hope that's helped some of you to make a better informed decision. Uh, let me know if you have any other questions in the comments, guys, and I'll be happy to answer them. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could drop us a like rating, and if you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to see you back here again. Uh, with that being said, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one.